Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. Now, for those of you who've been watching from the beginning, we used to do quite a regular series called Arsenal Troll Comments because at the beginning we were getting a lot of abuse from Arsenal fans. Now, Spurs are doing so well that we actually don't get that much abuse. But uh, there's been enough where we felt we could do another episode. Are you excited about this, Reese? Very excited. It's nice. It brings me back down to earth, you know? Yeah, I mean, especially as most of it is aimed at me, I think. Yeah, I, I, I really thrive on that. That's the kind of down to earth that Reese really <laughs> enjoys. Uh, okay, so why don't we start with you, Reese? What is your number five troll comment? Mezzanine Yune. Uh, I hope I'm is pronouncing that, that correctly. Is that the name? That is the name. Mezzanine. 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 So she's kind of, she's probably quite middle-sized, I would say. She's, like in, mezzanine, she's yeah. medium-sized, <laughs> I would say, somewhere in the middle of exactly, tall or yeah. short. And also Mezzanine, it's quite sort of glamorous. Well, I, I imagine there's going to be an element of glamour and poshness to this comment. Okay, let's see. Ha 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 Shit channel! What are your thoughts? I think if I was called Mezzanine, I probably would have gone for something a little more extensive. Yeah, me too. I think I, yeah. That's a quite a bit brief, but they're amused by it. Yeah, <laughs> finds us really funny, but also shit. Shit channel. I'll take it. Yeah, no, that's funny. Fair funny yeah, is yeah, what yeah, we're going to Okay, the laughs. Uh, that's, that's more my first troll comment uh, is from the very cleverly named. Check this out, Luban Roftus Cheek. Oh, <laughs> lovely stuff! Look at that. Because, because of the um, Chelsea footballer. Because she likes Lube. Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lofted onto a cheek. Okay, so here is Lubin Roftus Cheek's comment. See that you fixed the video title, dumb c Okay, what was, what's the video? Well, I think, um, from what I remember, it was the one title that when I put in the title, I may have made a spelling mistake. Oh, to be fair, don't do that on the internet. Does that mean I'm a dumb c It does mean you're a dumb c but okay. you fixed it. Fair so play, well Lubin Roftus Cheek, you got me. I am a dumb c But that means that Lubin Roftus Cheek has watched the video with the wrong title mm. and then come back to the video yeah. to then to then find out, oh, it's, that's been fixed. Are you and he's still angry about the fact it was once wrong, despite the fact it has now been corrected. Do you know what I think it shows? That Lubin Roftus Cheek is a real spelling and grammar Nazi. <laughs> yeah, and and yeah. not only a Chelsea fan, comes onto a Spurs fan channel to check that we are on point when it comes to spelling and grammar at exactly. all times. Not D just first time, but when Despite the back. obvious error in their username. Yeah. Error? Sorry, yes, yeah, the, the loop thing. Yeah. Um, Majib Ahmed, yeah. you guys was shit. Uh, don't be saying grammar like that in front of Lubin Roftus Cheek, mate. Yeah, you, do you mean you guys were shit? <laughs> yeah, I think they do. Yeah. Although we weren't, okay? We tried our best. Yeah, but you was bad that day. You was shit, you guys <laughs> was shit. You was bad. You was shit. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if that was about the team Tottenham Hotspur or about us. I think it was about. Uh, okay, you guys, next one me from me. Uh, Oakley MUFC. Hashtag GGMV. Uh, could be a U. I've, I've, I've written it out, but I can't read my own writing. Anyway, more important, anyone with a hashtag in the name for me. Surely it's MU. You they're MUFC. You, you'd think so, MU. Yeah. But hashtag GGMU. Um, Good girl. But anyone that. with a hashtag in their name for me, you automatically have to listen to. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the here we go. Noble person. Deluded, exclamation mark, deluded. There's more <laughs> chance of a Spuds fan isn't Jewish. No, there's more far, hold on. <laughs> hold on here. This whole okay. me not reading my own writing thing has gone too far. I don't know like. how much you can criticize someone for just saying you guys was shit, when that is how you read. They're, I'm not even convinced this was the comment anymore. They're, they're trolling me and I'm trolling my, my own <laughs> writing here. Hold on, deluded, exclamation mark. That's there's correct. more chance a Spuds fan isn't Jewish. Okay. Personally, I'm not Jewish. I'm not either. And also, where do, this whole spuds thing, like is, is being <laughs> called a potato really that abusive? I'm not sure. Where does it come from? Where does it stem from? Is that a good, is that a good pun? Is there a stem to a potato? I don't, I don't, don't know. Where is it know. grown from? There you <laughs> uh, go. But seriously, do you get, do you feel hurt when someone calls you, oh, you spud? No, is it is spuds an insult? You baked I potato. Was, didn't know it was an insult. Yeah. I do kind of find it confusing in uh, Gary Lineker's Twitter bio when he says still flogging spuds. 
and then he talks about Tottenham Hotspur earlier in the bio. Uh, it's like, yeah. what are you? I know he's talking about Chris. He's talking like, about Walker every time. I think. Um, I'm still but, but also mainly that just the racism here is obviously because not all Spurs fans are Jewish. It's not a prerequisite, is it? No, absolutely not. You can definitely still be a non-Jewish Spurs fan, but we also love all of you Jewish Spurs fans <laughs> too. We are certainly not. We don't. We don't care about anyone's race. Arden Lamar. Okay. Arden Lamar has said. <clears throat> Spurs are shit, and Liverpool are going to f*** you lot. Ha 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 ha. Oh dear. He's, I mean, we've obviously bleeped out that word. Why would you want to f*** shit? Yeah. Say it again. Spurs are shit, Liverpool are going to f*** you lot. Oh my god. <laughs> he wants to have sex with shit. That's <laughs> I think, ridiculous. I think they're going to know what that word is now. Yeah. <laughs> That's... He wants to have <laughs> sex with feces. That's ridiculous. It can't be <laughs> feces because of, you know... They can't they speak, it's not sentient. They. <laughs> they shit, can't speak. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. That was that was very naughty, that one, I thought. Uh, roadside Gooner AFC, oh, who sure this has, has been commenting a lot, by the way. This was the one I picked, though. Uh, apostrophe S. Uh, the totty got his just desserts, apostrophe S, getting glassed in the head. So, again. Some some serious abuse, but ruined by some horrific grammar there. Not roadside sure Guna what AFC. any of that means. So basically, Blast in the head. what he's trying to say is uh, it was it was just after the uh, Woolwich game. I think he's trying to say <laughs> the toy <laughs> got his just desserts getting glassed in the head because there was some fighting outside the ground, wasn't there? Oh yeah. But okay. what he's accidentally said is <laughs> belonging to <laughs> belonging to <laughs> the totty <laughs> got his just belonging, belonging to dessert. dessert. <laughs> Getting glassed in the head, which makes little also, sense. Also, roadside, roadside Guna. How are you getting a Wi-Fi connection on the roadside? Yes, that's true. Maybe. Maybe he's using 3G. Anyway, there's a lot more, slightly more positive this one. Okay, good. Um, depending on how you read it. Okay. Uh, May Tebow mm -hmm. has said simply, SPUNK. <laughs> now, I only see that as positive. They love the channel they so much. They absolutely love the channel. That they're just jizzing. Yeah. And love it so much, that post jizz yeah. decide they need to type that yeah. and let us know. I like the idea that post ejaculation, wherever they are, they just have to go onto YouTube and, and write a comment. <laughs> exactly, and tell, yeah. and tell anyone, like David Cameron, Spunk, uh, <laughs> you know, anyone. So, uh, anyway. It's us and David Cameron, massive, that's what they're into. Massive compliment. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Who May, was that again? May, May Tebow. May Spunk. Tebow. Or maybe they're talking about, like, we've got that's Spunk. We've got Hootspa. Again, that could be Max. It could be Max, it could be May. It's my, I see. It's my handwriting. I'm, I'm sure. hoping it's May. Uh, what we've learned here is that I need to print stuff out. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, Alan Irvine, who automatically to me sounds like, you know, a dad. Sounds like a stockbroker. Could be a stockbroker, but let's see what Alan says. The presenter is a twat. Lucky goal. Arsenal thoroughly deserved a point today. What I particularly like about Alan's comment mm. there is he's gone balls out with how he feels about me. Because it was uh, fan, you, it was yeah, my match yeah, review. Yeah. Uh, I, well, okay. <laughs> uh, he's come pulled out there like very abusive, and then he's tried to do like a, a, a genuine analysis of yeah, the game yeah, after so that. So some, uh, the presenter is a twat. Fine. Uh, a lucky goal. Arsenal thoroughly deserved a point today. What's uh, what's the, what was the lucky goal? What's the lucky goal? Uh, our lucky goal. Harry Kane's into the top corner. Harry Kane's from an unfathomable angle. Sensational goal. Yeah. Unlike um, Alexis Sanchez's lucky goal. Bobbly. Bobbly. That bobbled through the hand of Hugo Lloris. Um, what I'm interested in as well about Alan Irvine's comment is that you haven't at any point said that you don't think the presenter is a twat. I haven't. No. Um, next up, it's okay. Paygo. Uh, Paygo, uh, which sounds like a mobile phone service, has said, <laughs> um, Ginger <laughs> shithead. Ha ha ha. Dortmund smashed the shit 5 1. I mean, that's similar to Alan Irvine's. He's, he's, he's abused me in a personal way that makes me upset and then done a, an analysis of the Dortmund game, which we lost as well. It's just a terrible... I don't know if Dortmund smashed the shit 5-1 counts as analysis, but yeah, he certainly analysed your hair colour and head. I'll have you know that we use very bright halogen lights here and they really bring out the colour. And it's not its not how I look in real life. Yeah, it's strawberry blonde, isn't it? Strawberry blonde shithead. Ha ha ha, Dortmund smashed the shit 5-1. There you go. Happy now? Yes, that's much better. Thank you very much, Reese. No worries. Um, that has been the end of our Spurs. Uh, troll comments. Let us know what you thought of those comments. Uh, 
Obviously, what tends to happen when we do these is that Arsenal fans then come on and leave even more comments because yeah. they want to be in the next episode. So feel free with that. All counts as sweet, sweet engagement. So don't you worry <laughs> about that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're a Spurs fan. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. And just remember what a great time it is to be alive second in the league among Spurs. Hello and welcome to Spurverse. This week I am joined with Craig and Emma as Per. Now this week, the topics we're talking about are Harry Kane's pursuit of the golden boot, Harry Kane's new boxing career,